What is the situation like uh, on the ground? Are you in a position to hold an election that is free, fair, and credible? Um, yes, we are, Shakasari. I'm pleased to say that um, most, uh, almost all the districts have finished the deployment of staff, and the reports that I'm getting from the remaining districts is that they're winding up with the deployment of poor staff and election materials uh, this evening. So um, we're all set to go for, for tomorrow. And I must say, I must compare, uh, commend all our field officers who have worked really hard and with a lot of commitment to ensure that we have everything in place for tomorrow. What about uh, the issue of uh, uh, printing the election ballots in Dubai when, in fact, uh, you could have uh, uh, had them printed, frankly, uh, across the... Uh, the uh, border there, across the river in Popo. Well, like uh, what Peter explained earlier on, we opened up because of the the high value of uh, the supply of ballot papers. We did open up the tender, uh, both internationally and locally, and it was open for co competition by prospective suppliers and. Uh, we have a very rigorous uh, tender procedure because we have to follow the Public Procurement Act, which we did to the letter. And um, the Dubai company came up tops in terms of uh, technical, um, our technical requirements, and also in terms of value. So how do you, again, how do you respond to some voices uh, in the opposition and the civil society uh, who, in fact, have been speculating that uh, there is a potential for rigging the poll? Well, I, for, for me, who has been in this uh, election business for many years now, it is an accusation uh, that uh, we face each election and is yet to be proven. To what extent would you say that, uh, the, polit that uh, the political playing field was leveled for all the parties involved, really? Well, we did. I guess we still have a challenge in that area. Like most um, countries do, there's the issue of incumbency and so forth. But as an electoral commission, we, we, we do our best to, to respond to any issues where unfairness is, um, is, is, is brought to our attention. I know we did have challenges with the public media, especially with our national broadcaster, where opposition political parties complained that um, they were not being given um, enough coverage, um, especially during news and so forth. Then there were complaints uh, against the police in terms of the administration of the Public Order Act. But I would say that with our intervention, uh, there was um, some improvement especially in the management of um, uh, for political rallies by the parties participating um, in the election. We also invited um, the heads of public media to a meeting with ourselves and the participating political parties to discuss these issues. And um, it was hoped that, you know, at least there would be an improvement. And I would say there was an improvement to some extent so we did have to push a bit uh, towards the end uh, in terms of um, uh, some last uh, coverage for, for the opposition. But I hope going forward in future, um, these issues can be addressed. The challenge we have as an electoral commission is that unlike our colleagues in India who are practically in charge of everybody and can direct and order even the police, we, as the Electoral Commission in Zambia, do not have those kind of powers. But we do our best to intervene, and I would say that we, we, we do get uh, uh, cooperation to a certain extent.